thanks for coming. My name is Erica Stewart. I'm a fifth grade teacher at Sandra Cisneros Elementary Charter. Uh, we all work for United um, Educators at UNO, which is under UCSN, which is um, UNO Charter School Network. And we're here because we're in a fight for a good contract. Right now, they're trying to cram extra kids into our classrooms. We're asking for a status quo of 32 kids per classroom. They want to put more kids into our classrooms. They're trying to cut our pay, which is affecting the quality of teachers and the quality of education that we want for our kids. So we are really fighting to get a better contract in order to improve the quality of education for our children. And ultimately, that's what it comes down to. Uh, we have approved a possible strike date of October 19th. Our teachers and staff support are prepared to walk off in order to secure a fair contract for our kids and our teachers. So basically what it comes down to is nobody ever wants to strike. But we need management to have a sense of urgency and to understand that it's so very important for our kids to have the quality education. We're down here on Jackson today to point out these beautiful offices that they're in. Our kids all come from working class poor families. We love our kids, we love our jobs, and we love our neighborhoods. But they think they're too good to be in those neighborhoods where we work every day. They are willing to leave these buildings because they don't want to hear the truth, but they're not willing to leave to save money for our children. They're spending money on these offices, they're spending money on high salaries, the need to trickle down to the classrooms for a quality education for our kids. We're talking about cuts to pay. We're talking about them wanting to cut our pensions. So basically what it ends up being is pay cuts on your paycheck. So support staff are our IT people, um, paraprofessionals who are the people who work one-on-one -on -one all day long with special needs children or who help out in kindergarten classes and our clerks in our offices. These people are the backbone of our schools. We can't run without them. They did not get any raises this year, not even a cost of living, and they're looking at only a 1% for next year. When you combine that with their losses to pension that's being proposed by management, they're looking at losing a lot of money. Okay, so CTU and chi are sister unions. We both fall under American Federation of Teachers, and sometimes we lean on each other for solidarity, for support. We definitely occasionally tap into them for expert advice because they are larger and they've been doing this a lot longer than us. Um, really, the similarities in this battle have more to do with management. UCSN is abusing their teachers the same way that CPS has abused their teachers and staff. In 2010, when Chicago decided to do what was called Renaissance 2010, their objective was to bring in a lot of charter schools into the city, and most of us feel really the objective was to break the union for uh, CTU. So what's happening now with the unionization of our charters is we're able to fight back a little bit. But ultimately, the charter schools are a business model. They are businesses running a public school, and even our at our bargaining table, they have said, this is a business, we are trying to run a business. So obviously, they're not really in the business of educating students, they're in the business of making money.